Doug Flutie Foundation and Jersey Mike's, with my help, are teaming to present a five-day sandwich challenge. I will be eating Jersey Mike's subs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This five-day challenge will not be easy, but I've got the hunger of a defensive lineman. So let's dig into these subs and start feasting. So good. I officially give the chicken bacon ranch sandwich from Jersey Mike's a nine out of 10. Now dinner time. I'm gonna walk back to Jersey Mike's and pick up a giant steak and cheese. Well, Jersey Mike closed. Let's uh, try this other area that's uh, about 0.5 miles away. I'm praying and hoping it's open. Apparently on uh, GPS, there was Jersey Mike's at the capital of Atlanta. Walked 20 minutes there. There wasn't. I hate you, Google. With a burning passion. I will not rest until I get another sandwich from Jersey Mike today. I guarantee it. All right, we made it to our second Jersey Mike location. And this one is open. All right, sandwich number two. Just a regular steak and cheese. I got this because, well, I feel nostalgic for cheeks for the original steak and cheese. No peppers, of course, and no onions. Don't judge me. Let's dig in. Oh yeah, this has a spot. See you tomorrow, same situation. Got to eat a lot of sandwiches. Day two of eating Jersey Mike's for a week. I'm Zachary Henderson, this is my co-worker Peyton, and we're about to go on a very great journey to Jersey Mike's. Round three. This place is now open. We've secured the bag. We got ourselves some sandwiches, and we're uh, on our way back to the stadium. Can't wait to see what lies ahead. 25 more years of freaking that bread. Every step we take. And we're back. So, what did you get from Jersey Miles? I got the chicken bacon ranch. Zach had it yesterday, and he said it was a 9 out of 10. So, I'm gonna give it a shot. What'd you order? I ordered the Portobello Swiss. Good. Tune in next time for uh, part two of Zach eating dinner. <laughs>